So why? Why the hell would an American soldier get involved in the war between Russia and Ukraine? You're not Ukrainian, you're not Russian, and you may be thinking, hell, we've sent so much support, so much weapons and money and this and that, and they still want more from us? Why are American soldiers fighting this? No, no, no. They're fighting on the fucking Russian side. I shit you not. You have to watch this thing. Check this out. Why, why are you here? I mean, well, uh, it's the reason I can't. The Russian guy, this is from Russian TV. The Russian guy asks, why the fuck are you here? You're American. What are you doing fighting for Russia? It is crazy. Guys, the propaganda is wild. That's why it's so dangerous. That's why I talk about this all the time. Because there's dumb motherfuckers out there like this guy. Just listen. Don't listen to me. Listen to him. Why, why are you here? I mean, well, uh, it's the reason I came uh, to Ukraine in the first place, you know, uh, I'm a communist, I'm an anti-fascist, and uh, we have to fight fascism everywhere, you know, so uh, I came, when I came to Ukraine, I knew uh, that I would try to get as much information as I could about, you know, anything that would be helpful and uh, defect across lines. Now, as soon as this interview... <laughs> the guy, the guy's a fucking... He's a what do you want? He's a communist. Of course, he's gonna fight for Russia because it's a fucking Soviet communist regime. I've been told many times in the comments by probably Russian trolls that no, 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 we are, we are very uh, capitalist, comrade. No, you're fucking not. You're a Russian Soviet regime with a fucking Russian dictator. It used to be KGB. What are you people talking about? But people are so easily influenced. Well, yeah, I mean. Obviously, if you're Ukraine and like 12, 14 years ago you were invaded by Russia, obviously you're the bad guy. If you're being invaded by Russia, you have to be the bad guy, right? That sounds... Well, Zelensky bad, right? Yeah, definitely. He was an actor and he dressed up like a woman and that's fucked up. Even if he was not dragged himself and he was doing it as a part of a comedy sketch like... Pretty much most comedies have... <laughs> it, is, it is insane. But this is why it's so dangerous. This is why the propaganda should not be allowed. And especially, this is what the East, looking at Russia, looking at China, looking at the enemies of the Western civilization, they use this against us. Because we have freedom. We have liberty. We have freedom of speech. And they say, oh, right, freedom of speech. So I can do propaganda against you and you will do nothing, right? Right? And a lot of people, well, yeah, it's free. no, you don't allow propaganda because you have this damn result. You have these guys. This is one. Then there's this other one that I thought was, <laughs> just check this guy out. He is. Here's my picture. Marine. There's many reasons that I came here, but one of the big tipping points was when I was a Lance Corporal. I was due for promotion the next month. And they came out with the COVID vaccine mandate in the military. And I'm a young, healthy man, and I've already had COVID before, and so I don't need that. And so there was a few of us, not very many, unfortunately, that said, we're not going to take it. And so they kicked us out. So I lost my promotion to corporal. I was also in the process of becoming a police officer in the state of Arizona, and I lost my place at the police academy as well. Right, of course. And, and I mean, I agree with him 100%. The idea of in the beacon of freedom in the world, which America is supposed to be, you're being mandated to take this crap. Yeah, that's not freedom. I agree with that. That's messed up. And you should stand against that. But just because you're fighting the evil pharmaceutical lobby and you're against that, you end up siding with fucking Putin in a war against Ukraine. It is insane. But it is a propaganda. It is easy to influence people that, yeah, right. They, they wanted me to take the fucking thing, and I, I didn't want to take it. I'm not an idiot. Well, kind of a little bit, but yeah, you were right about that part. But you fucked up when you sided with fucking Putin to invade a, a, a sovereign nation, you know, out of pure imperialistic greed from a former KGB dictator. That's why you don't allow propaganda, because it fucking works. And if you think that, oh, in the age of internet and technology, and we have cameras everywhere, and we can see it, no, 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 that is, it's worse than before. This is worse than during World War II, because it's not that you have more information so you know better, no. You have more channels through which they can influence your opinion, and it fucking works. 
It works better than you can expect. It is scary how well it works. You're seeing it right here. And I'm not even going through the dozens of examples that you have on YouTube of Americans right now fighting for Russia. That's crazy. But hey, yeah, Zelensky bad last time I checked. So yeah, it checks out that you have to... Ah, oh, damn it, man. It is sad. Folks, remember to prepare as much as you can because we're obviously in some parallel fucked up universe and things are not looking very great. So get yourself three survival skills as well as surviving the economic collapse. You have my books available in the links there below. Take care.